Hey guys, welcome back. Dave, ABQ, SC, and C. We are starting mismatch week. As you can tell, my fallout box came in. My puppy tried to destroy it. She got a good bite out of it. I think my neighbor stopped her. Um, doesn't look like anything was damaged, so we are going to check and find out. Uh, like I said, we're in the middle of uh, starting out mismatch week. We did our boom box yesterday with mailbag Monday. Talked about the things that we will be doing um, for baseball week. Showed the 87 tops box. That is going to be $6 per side. The 94 score that we showed off is going to also be $6 per side. And the 95 top series 2 will be $8 per side. $5, if you are not in the Albuquerque area, needs to be added for shipping. Uh, the $5 only needs to be paid once if you get into multiple sides. So that's that. That is going to be baseball week. We are starting out mismatch week with a fallout crate. The fallout crate is every other month. And most of the time they just... Uh, are so late on these things like they tried to make me pay for the next one before this one even showed up so I think this is th this might be my last one I haven't exactly decided yet but uh, yeah my puppy tried to take a bite out of it and let's see what's inside fallout we've done a couple fallout videos but nothing too too much I think I started out like the very beginning of it and that was it so fallout crate we got a fortune finder perk. This one got roughed up a little bit. Hopefully it's not too, too bad. So loot crate screenshots with a little luck. You can find what makes you special. The fortune finder is one of the perks that helps you get more caps. And caps are the money in Fallout. And this figure here, boom, look at this guy. Comes with a stand. I think next month I'll show off the stuff that I've gotten in previous Fallout crates. This is like my seventh or eighth one that we've got done. So I've been doing it for a while, at least a year, if not more, I believe. So here's part of the wasteland. Let's see if we can get you better focus there. Part of the wasteland there that this guy is going to be sitting on. We got Vault Boy with his metal detector. He goes right in the ground here. He should be going that way. Is he going that way? He is going that way. Boom. Vault Boy in the ground. He's going to stick to it, to it right there. He's not sticking too good right now, but that's what it's going to look like. There we go. Vault Boy finding his caps. Fallen over because he's drank too much Nuka Cola. Just going to get him in there. He's not going to stay too much right now, but hopefully he won't fall over anymore. That's Vault Boy right there. Next up is a build a figure. They give you a piece at a time so you can build your own power armor. This looks like it's going to be the left arm. Box four of six on the power armor. These are the other ones they've given already. So we've gotten quite a few of those. I don't open these up as I want to wait until we get all of them. Next one is one of the pins, crate number 10. I think I've only missed one and two. So this is our eighth one. This is uh, the pin with the one on it, the scavenged. So that's very awesome. Next up is our replica. It is a replica of of the Reckoning. It's a special weapon that you can get in Fallout. It's like a melee item, a modified huge chainsaw it looks like. comes with its own stand as well. 
So Fallout Crate is done by Loot Crate. Like I said about once. Once every couple months, they get this stuff out to everybody. So just going to put that in there. That goes there, that goes there. It comes with its own stand. Boom. So that's that. We got Fallout Boy. Got the gas powered army chainsaw. Reckoning is what that is called. There are a couple other things in here. A notebook set based on the the magazines from the game looks like. So this is going to be pretty awesome. I'm just going to try to slide this off. So yeah, we're a little diff different than everybody else. First week of the month we are baseball. Second week of the month we do football. Third week of the month that we just ended is basketball. And the fourth week of the month is a mismatch. Awesome Tales, Stanley Awesome Tales. You find these in the um, in the game. I like how it's all like it's been sitting around forever. That that's pretty awesome. You find these magazines in the game, and they up your your perks and other stuff in the game. So that's awesome. It looks used like it's just been sitting around forever. The second one is a Tesla one. This one ups your energy weapons. Same thing. Looks like it's been around forever. Just waiting for somebody to come read and pick it up. I am not going to write in these, but they will go in the showcase, I think. Put these in the showcase. And last but not least, it just tells you what's inside the crate. It's a card. tells you what's inside it. And like kind of like a postcard picture type thing. Very, very cool. All right. So, um, seeing everybody with their wrestling stuff made me go look and find the bag of wrestling cards that I have been holding on to forever. I haven't opened these things up since I lived in Las Vegas. And that was in 2000. I think I stopped living there in 2010. So, I probably don't know what's in here. But we're going to go through them because it's been forever since I've seen them. Got a hillbilly gym. WWE card. Chavo Guerrero. I hated this guy. Just could not stand Chavo Guerrero. Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff. Triple H. His entrance and his theme song. Oh man. So awesome. Santino, these are heritage cards, the butt of every joke. He got slapped around in OVW, which is the like the minor leagues for the WWE. And he tried to file a lawsuit against him, and they pushed him up to the WWE. Rowdy, Roddy Piper. Vladimir Kozlov, another one that they tried to push and just never worked out. He was horrible. D'Lo Brown, baby. D'Lo once the nation fell apart, he, he just couldn't do anything. Billy, Brian Pillman, this guy. Ezekiel, he was all right. They didn't really know how to use him, but... And then we got a Darth Vader card from Star Wars Galaxy. Rey Mysterio, looks like a Heritage Chrome card. I said I haven't looked at these in quite a while. Rey Mysterio, Heritage Chrome, before he got his um, rosary and chest tattoos. Matt Hardy, my sister had the hugest crush on this guy, Matt Hardy. Snitsky, another guy. They just did not know what to do with him. Primo Cologne, horrible, horrible, horrible. Another tops of the class, three cards. We'll save this one for another day. It looks like it was the silver pack, tops of the class. A John Cena tops turkey red card. Tops chrome turkey red card. Look at this thing. 
There are a couple cards in here. Let's see what else is in here. So we got John Cena. Chain Gang Commander. The Bushwhackers, baby. The Bushwhackers, those guys. And Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. On the tops, Chrome. What year is this from? 2007. 2007 tops, Chrome. So John Cena was still the Chain Gang Commander. Wrapping it up. Horribly, by the way. Mr. Kennedy. He was trash, too. Mr. Kennedy got hurt. He was supposed to win money in the bank that CM Punk won, but he ended up getting hurt. So they gave it to CM Punk. Eve. She was all right. That was more fans than somebody else. And a authentic relic. Batista versus Paul Burchill. Hopefully this isn't one where they like, okay, it's an event use mat. An actual piece of the mat from Raw 818. Very awesome. That's going to go in the top 10 pile. That is sweet. All right. So that was the WWE cards. We're going to save the tops of the class for another day. Maybe sometime in baseball week. Now it is time to play Did Dave Get a Good Deal or Did He Get Swindled? So uh, week one, during baseball week, we went to game time to do our pack roulette. And I saw these cards here. They are Dodger cards. They're bigger than normal cards. They were presented by the Los Angeles Police Department. I remember these cards from when I was a kid. Um, the police department would hand them out. It's like old 80s guys. Like Davey Lopes, Rick Monday, Bill Russell... Um, Fernando, Bob Welch. They're huge. I'm not even going to open them. But I got them for $1.50. I remember these when I was a kid. The police would go around to the schools and hand them out. I think I had like four or five, and I thought I had a ton of them back in the time. And it was right after they won the World Series, so probably 89 um, I probably would have paid like 10 bucks for this, but I paid $1.50. So I thought that was pretty fantastic. Um, I absolutely remember these, and it brought back a lot of memories. So for me, it was a good deal. I don't know what, what you guys think, but for me, that was a good deal. And uh, I can't believe I've been sitting on this for this long, but um, to end the video, we're going to show you one last thing. I'm going to move my chair. You guys are going to get a look at a little bit of uh, ABQ HQ here. going to lift you up just a little bit to get you going. There's the showcase. And uh, Game Time had these big mega boxes, 5,000 count boxes, while I was doing um, pack roulette in week number one. And they were selling them for $10 each. It's like old junk wax stuff. So I was mentioning to him, hey, uh, Jordan, uh, maybe next week I'd be interested in, get, in grabbing one or two of these boxes. And he said I could have all of them for $100. And let me show you what he meant by all of them. I'm just going to back you up a little bit here. Don't mind the mess. By all of them, he meant all of this. There are a total of 28 boxes here, folks. All of them... Filled to the brim with cards. As you can see, this is 89 tops. There is 89 Bowman, more 89 tops, score. Of course, the Red 90 Donruss. There are 27 big boxes and the equivalent of another big box of these super boxes. I'm just going to grab a random one and we're going to go through it right here just to see what is in one of these things. As I sort through these things, I will more than likely be passing some of them along um, at a very, very reduced rate as all I'm looking for is really just to get my money back. So um, as we go through, I will let you know what we got. And uh, if any of you guys are interested in stuff or you're missing stuff in your collection, um, we can go through. But this is just one of the little 
mixed super boxes that were with it. That's what it says. This one's baseball. As you can see, this one is filled. There were about four of those plus another bigger box. So we're going to see what they thought was a super box. It's pretty packed, so just going to pull some stuff out here just so it's not so packed. So I can try to show you guys just a little bit of what they meant by a super box. Looks like it might be all stars, stars. Looks like there's a bunch of mini cards in here. So there's mini cards. Let's see if I can get you a little bit more focused here. There's these mini stickers, mini cards. This thing is still full and there's already a bunch of cards right here. So that's 90 Donruss, 90 Upper Deck. Just gonna go through a few of them. Most of it is still junk wax, but um, these are the big cards. Just to give you an idea of stuff that was in there, like here's a 2016. More 89, so my guess is that most of the ones down there are probably mostly commons. And these were the ones that probably Beckett said was worth a little bit. Uh, more than likely somebody sold the boxes to Jordan at a really, really reduced rate. But we got 28 of those big boxes for $100 when they were, he was selling them originally to everybody else for $10 each. So it would have normally have been $280. And it, like I said, it's mostly all junk wax of this stuff. 91 Fleer, 90 Fleer, 91 Tops, 90 Tops, 88 Score. So I'm going to have to sort through all of this, and uh, we'll see exactly what we got. Got some later upper deck. Later leaf. But yeah, it's mostly all junk wax stuff, but I will let you guys know. And uh, like I said, if you, if you have any, there's a yellow Del Murphy. I don't remember seeing that before. Most of these are upside down here. But yeah, let's see, like it's like 89 Donruss, Jeff Robinson. Um, if you guys have teams or cards that you know you are missing, just shoot me an email, abqscandc at gmail.com. There are so many cards here, um, it's not going to be that big of a deal to send you guys. Maybe if I have multiples or something that you guys need, I will gladly pass that on to you. Um, if you guys are looking for, I'll try to see uh, if we can pull any full sets out of here. Um, maybe I'll just do them for like a dollar each. But yeah, there are 28 boxes of this stuff. So the rest are sorted by uh, by years and makers. These super boxes are uh, just mixed stuff. Like I said, it's probably stuff that um, Beckett had in there that was worth more than just a common. But as we all know, this stuff was way 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 produced but yeah that's why i've been sitting on that stuff for three weeks because i wanted to save it for mis mismatch week but yeah we'll go through this i'll sort through it it's going to take me forever as i could have started when i got it but i wanted to save them for you guys so i'll go through it i'll see what we got and we'll go from there so yeah that's that i'm going to go through this is going to be saved for possibly the top 10 for next week. You guys can vote on whether that's going to stay in the top 10. And let's see here. What are we going to do with these? The Ray Mysterio, I think I'm going to keep, but um, we'll add the rest. Maybe most of the others, except for the Chrome ones, to Sunday's pile. That way, if anybody's interested in those, and yeah, that's the fallout crate. We are in mismatch week. Got my Dodger cards from the Los Angeles Police Department. 
and our 28 boxes, mega boxes, 5,000 cards in each box. Uh, next Lotteria card is La Muerte, number 14 on your Lotteria card, La Muerte. I know a couple of you are getting really close to winning that OBJ. Uh, next time it's going to be a parallel of Vlad Guerrero Jr. from Donruss Optic. So as soon as we get OBJ one, we're going to be moving on to, to Vladdy Jr., uh, we have mystery boxes coming up this week. That's Star Wars on Friday and WCW main event cards on Saturday. $5 for every nine packs in that one if you are interested. Like I said, uh, we do uh, multiple shipping, but you just have to pay the single five dollars if you're getting in on a single break but want a couple sides i'm not going to charge you double for the shipping and yeah that's fallout crate we are on mismatch week thank you all for watching we will see you guys again uh pack roulette should be coming up again this week so stay tuned and then uh, next week we are back to baseball all right guys have a great night stay safe and we'll see you guys later bye